Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to show you all how to use Odysseyware as a student by going in through a student's account. So how you want to do this is you want to go to Google Classroom. Since pretty much all of you are in my Google Classroom already, your Your class should be titled Odysseyware Biology, and you can get to the school website through this link if you want, or go onto the school's website, but this is the easiest way for me to get to the link, so I'm going to go on it here, and this is my account, but I'm going to log on to a student's account to show you this from a student's point of view. Okay, so I'm logging in as, as a student, and we don't need to watch this video, so we're just going to go to, oh, we're at the help section. We need to go to the learn section, learn up here. So you can see all of the things that are assigned. I've assigned to you everything from unit one, two, and three, and there are four total units. So I've assigned you about three quarters of the work that's due by the end of the um, year. So what you have to do is you read through and then you look at the vocabulary. You can have it play out loud for level. you. So it just said cellular level. So it tells you how to pronounce things. And then the vocabulary definition is to the right then you can either work on the questions or read the next section. It's up to you. So I'm going to show you how to work on the questions. Okay, so a degree of organism complexity, either unicellular or colonial. So number one, I would say, is a degree of complexity, I would say, is this is number one. And then let's see, the relatively constant state of the internal environment, that's homeostasis. Appropriate physiological systems so that appropriate adjustments can be made, that's feedback loops. And all of these were from the vocab before. So on what I was reading before, I already know these definitions because I'm the teacher, but if you're just learning them, if I were you, I would write them down. That's why I gave you those notebooks, remember? But if you don't have that notebook anymore, just write it down on a piece of paper. Okay, um, control mechanism that inhibits and counteracts earlier. That's negative. Um, cells arranged into systems. Oh, um, that one's, that one's six, so this one's one. And what am I missing? Five, a control mechanism that intensifies or, in, or enhances. That's positive feedback. Okay, so I just answered all the questions, so I'm going to turn it in. So there's still work to do. So look, so it says there's still work to do. Nine questions aren't answered and four sections aren't read. Are you sure you'd like to continue? So I'm going to say no thank you because I still have to answer more questions and read more sections. Okay, so we can go to the next question or read the next section. Um, let's read the next section. So we didn't read that yet. So it's a cell regulation and homeostasis. So you can see we're at two out of five of the sections. So you would read this, you would watch the video. Um, if the video is not playing, just read the transcript. Um, we don't have time to watch the video, but I'll start it. This is all about balance in the body. So you would watch the video, read this, and then you can work on the questions or read the next section. Let's work on the questions because we just watched the video. So let's do sugar for that one. Um, Claude, yeah, Claude Bernard for that one. Um, structures in plant leaves that open and close. Well, I don't know if they said that in the video, but 
that's this one. And then, so if you are doing questions and you realize that you don't know the answer because you didn't read um, that section of the Odyssey Wire yet, then you can change your sections up here. So I'm on question five out of 10. So I'm gonna go back, um, I guess, to question one and we're gonna read the next section. So we read that, let's read the next section. So let's do the third, the third section. So here's the video. It's about maintaining homeostasis. There's another video for you to watch. And I'm going to read the next section again, make sure um, I read everything so that I can answer the questions. So then there's another video. And let's read the next section. Okay, so we're done reading the section. So now um, it tells you what you need to review. And I don't want to turn it in yet because I need to answer the questions. So let's go back to section four and work on the questions. Okay, so, oh, I'm already at question seven. I only answered up to question four, I believe. So up here you can see the questions that you answered. I already did one, two, three, and four. So let's go to question five. Don't worry if you don't, if you think you missed one because if you turn it in, it'll do the thing where it says, are you sure? And it won't let you turn it in. So most animals take in, take in substances. Next question, most animals remove substances. Let's do that. Next question, feedback loops for that one. If you've been sitting in the hot sun, your body responds in the form of, I'm gonna go with positive. Feedback stimulates your body to respond in the same direction as a stimulus, and we go with positive. Why not? Okay, sensory receptors, they, they detect change. Integrating center. I'm going to go with that. And then number three for that one. So I am going to submit my answers. And since I've answered all the questions, look, I was a number 10. Since I've answered all the questions, it says, would you like to turn in? And I'm going to say, yes, please. Okay, so I received an 87.5 on this assignment. Okay. So let's go back to the assignments. And so this is blocked now because, oh, oh, that's because that's a quiz. Oh, all your quizzes are blocked. All your quizzes are blocked. Okay. Okay, so now these, I'm at the assignments page. So these are all the things that I still have to do if I was the student. But if you want to see what you got wrong, like I just got an 80 seven or something, you can go back to your courses and you can look at how far you've done. So progress is at 6%. So let's go to this arrow over here and it'll break it down. So let's click on cells and genetics because that's the first unit. I've assigned unit one, two, and three so far. So if we look in cells and genetics, you can see this student has already done lesson one and lesson two, and then I just, for the student, I just did lesson three. So you can see I just did that today at 327. Um, it's Friday, March 27th. I just did this for this student. Um, so if you go to this arrow again, you can see the answers to the question. So let's see what I got wrong. So these are all the sections, so you can reread them, you can study them. These are all the sections. If you want to look at the questions, you click up here. So if we want to look at our questions, it looks like I got this one right, which one, and I got this one wrong. So you can, if, if you realize that you got something wrong and you don't understand, you can ask me for help. You can write a message and then send it to me. I, I don't understand this question. Can you help me send? Okay, and then that will send to me. And then let's get out of that. And then I got number eight wrong. So you'd reread that and you'd be like, oh, it's a negative feedback loop. Okay, so that's how you check your work. Okay, so then if you wanna start the next assignment again, you can go back to your assignments and you just start the next one. 
okay? Um, I'm not going to do another one for this student because I already showed you how to do it. But again, you just go through these at the top, you read the sections, and then you answer the questions. So the sections are over here at the top, and then if you want to get the questions, they're up here at the top, and you can just click through them. So if you want to see your progress so far, this is what I see on my end. I see what you guys have done. So this is at a 6% so far, and I can see that this student started Unit 1, and I can see that this student started um, what date you submitted it and what date it was graded. If you don't turn it in, if you don't press that little turn in button that I showed you earlier, it won't um, grade anything. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you need to email me or call me. I, I shared my information with you on Google Classroom. So anyway, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys later. Um, that's it for now. Bye.